The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. What's up, what's up, fellas? Well, I'm headed home for the day. It's uh, about six o'clock in the evening. You know, usually we were off yesterday and I wasn't on call. Yesterday was Memorial Day. Usually, you know, I can, you know, I, I'm out of videos to upload, uh, repair videos. The the ones I've been uploading daily, you know, I, those have been, sh some of them have been shot in one day. Some of them shot b between a couple days, whatever. And you know, usually on Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, whatever, I'll shoot several videos throughout the day and load them up on the computer, edit them out, and load them to YouTube and schedule them for every, you know, a day. Well, I didn't get to video shit today to upload for y'all because, as Ted would say, Ted Cook, who is anti DIY HVAC here on YouTube. I had nothing but helicopter customers today. Um, I really I don't know where Ted came up with that, but I like it. So I had nothing but helicopter customers today. And for those of you that don't know what a helicopter customer is, that's what Ted Cook calls a customer that is just all over you and won't leave you alone. You know, they're they're watching every you know they're they're just being nosy. They're sitting there watching everything that you do. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it, which doesn't bother me. You know, to a lot of people, it bothers them. It doesn't bother me at all. I just can't film when, when that's going on. And, you know, it's, it's not that, that I mind filming in front of people. I'm not really shy about it, but some people don't like it. They frown upon it. Anyway, so I just thought I'd upload this today. I did a little bit of everything. Changed out some capacitors, which is, you know, that's that's a seems to be a everyday thing nowadays. Um, and changed out a contactor. Went on a system that was overcharged. Just got off of one where the condenser call was completely stopped up. So I could have filmed some good stuff today, but the helicopter customers, the helicopter customers did not allow it to happen. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for filming. <clears throat> so anyway, I, got, I just, you know, guys, I want to thank y'all so much for the support through all the, you know, through the years. I think it, we're coming, I'm coming up on about seven years that I've been doing uh, YouTube now. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. You know, now that I'm back to doing strictly that, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of the other guys have given up youtube to podcast and you know that's that's all fine and dandy it's just not you know and let me clear that up i don't want this video to be too long but a lot of people have asked why i quit podcasting you know it's it's not that well first of all everybody knows what happened you know with the first podcast cowboys of hvac and then uh you know, the one with me and Gil. So I figured after that, you know, I, I, I could have kept it going solo, but podcasting take, takes up a lot of time. Um, YouTube, you know, editing a video has, is easy. Uh, you know, I have a MacBook and the software that I use, nothing to it. 
I can I can uh, edit out a YouTube video very quickly, especially if they're shorter ones. You know, like the ones that I've been loading lately. Now, you know, you get you do a 20, 30 minute video that takes a little longer, but still not a big deal. Podcasting takes up a lot of time because you got to record, you got to edit that, and recording uh, editing audio is is a lot more difficult than editing video. You know, you got to cut out every uh and ah and um. I mean, I guess you don't have to, and uh, but but you do. It'll sound better if you cut all that out. It was taking up a lot of my time away from the family. You know, it, it was taking me three nights to edit a podcast. So after I had uh, the one with the After Dark one that went, you know, that me and Gil had our issue. I just said, to hell with it. I'm going to go back to concentrating on YouTube. YouTube is what I enjoy doing anyway. And uh, I still love the field. And so I wanted to continue to film and not podcast any longer. If somebody ever invites me to be a guest on their podcast, I'll be glad to do that. But as far as uh, doing my own again, no, I'm not doing it. It's just too much editing, too much, too much time. And then it, and then I noticed that I, I, I had, I had almost quit doing YouTube completely. I mean, I went several months without uploading a video and, uh, I asked the guys in my group what they preferred, the podcast or YouTube, and they said YouTube. They preferred the videos over the podcast. So, you know, if I can make blogs like this every once in a while just to talk about things that are going on. I still like doing the live things on YouTube like I did the other night, the live hangouts. Those are a lot of fun. But uh, as far as podcasting, I, I'm, I'm through with that. And which it's I don't think it's going as well. It's starting to die off. I think, you know, a lot, a lot of, the, you know, people are getting out of it and I just don't think it's as popular as it was at one time anyway. I mean, Brian Orr, in my opinion, he's got that, that he's got that locked down. Uh, he's got the best HVAC podcast out there. And I said that ever since I had mine, you know, I admitted it in episodes. He's got the best one out there and nobody's ever gonna, is ever going to top him in an HVAC podcast. And that's, that's just the bottom line. So, I think uh, I'll leave the podcasting to him. All right, guys. Well, I've rambled on long enough. I just wanted to shoot this to have something to upload. I'm trying to upload a video every day. That's the goal. One, one a day, except for the weekends. I don't upload on the weekends. I skip Saturday and Sunday. But Monday through Friday, the game plan is to upload at least one video a day. Well, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to upload multiple videos in a day. One, one a day is the goal. If I can't do one a day, I want to try to at least do one every other day. But I'm really shooting for one a day. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for filming and I won't have helicopter customers, as Ted Cook says. And guys, speaking of Ted Cook, you know, me and Ted Cook, we've we we had our battle. You know, we me and him didn't get along at all. We we were very hateful to each other, said a lot of nasty things to each other and about each other. But uh, I was man enough to apologize to Ted and and he did the same and, and, and we squashed it and you know uh, now you know we're, we're, we're I'm not gonna you know say we're best friends but we're pretty good friends through YouTube so and guys I'm talking about a guy named anti DIY HVAC if you haven't checked out his channel check it out Ted's a great guy he's a very smart technician uh, very knowledgeable. He's been in business for almost 30 years and he's got some good content. He's a train guy. He loves train. <laughs> and that was one of the main things that we argued about. But, you know, I've learned to be, to uh, not be so harsh towards certain brands, except Goodman. <laughs> but, uh, you know, train is good stuff. But he's a, he's a train guy, but he's got some good content. Again, it's anti-DIY HVAC. I'll put it on the screen right here. Check out his channel. Uh, subscribe to him. And he does fantastic giveaways. Every Friday night, he does a giveaway. And they're awesome. I mean, Ted gives away good shit. You know, he don't just give away t-shirts and stuff. 
Ted gives away freaking drills, uh, Testo Smart probes. He gives away benders, swagers. Uh, he gives away some good shit, man. And he, he gives away multiple of these items, like some t two and three of them. So you have great a great, great chance to win. Hell, I enter to win them every week. So, you know, check him out. All right, guys. Thank y'all for watching. And we'll see y'all on the next one.